Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and today I am back with one more trigger interview scenario. So without any delay, let's get started. Now before writing code, it is very important to understand the architecture of all objects that we are going to use today. So let's first begin with data model. In today's scenario, account, contact and case will be the major objects. Both contact and case are the child objects and account is the parent object. And on contact object, there is a checkbox field primary contact, which determines whether a contact is primary contact or not. There is also event object, which is the child of contact. So this is all about data model for today's scenario. Now let's understand what exactly we are going to do today. So in today's scenario, on insertion of a case record, we need to link that record to primary contact of selected account. And after that, we need to create an event on that contact with same subject as case. Okay, this must be very confusing, but don't worry. I will try to explain it more clearly using a flowchart. Let's say there is a user and he creates a case record and he selects an account record like this. Also, this account record has a primary contact on it. Now our first task is to link this case to the primary contact of parent account. So this will be our first task. And our second task is on creation of case, we need to create an event on same primary contact with same subject as case. So these are the two tasks that we need to do on case creation. I know we have been discussing theory part for quite a long time. So let's step away from theoretical part and start coding. Let's go to VS code and create our handler class. Let's name it TRG handler. Let's create our method public static void TRG method. Now we have to perform all of our actions after insertion of a case. Therefore, Case is the starting point of our code. So let's pass list of case as parameter in our method like this. Case, let's say new case list. Apply a null check on this list. If not new case list dot is empty and iterate over it. For case, let's say new case. Guys, see. Our first task is to link case to the primary contact of account. For that, we'll be needing parent account ID of the case which is being inserted. So let's create a set first to store parent account ID of case like this. Set ID, let's say CC IDs, and then set ID. Let's add a comment to store parent account ID of case. Apply null check on account ID new case dot account id not equals to null and also on subject like this string dot is not blank new case dot subject guys see basically in this trigger both account id and subject must have a value that's why we have applied null check on both so that our code will be executed only if user enters value in both subject and account id and now store account id in our set copy its name paste it here dot add new case dot account id now apply a null check on this set so that our further code will be executed only if this set contains a value copy its name paste it here like this. See, we need to link case with latest primary contact of account. Therefore, our next step is to fetch latest primary contact of account. Let's see how we are going to fetch it. For contact con select id comma account id primary contact from contact. We need only primary contacts. Therefore, primary contact also true and account id should be in this set and account id in set and to get most recently updated contact we will use order by close in descending order order by last modified date descending so that recently updated contact will come first and we need only one contact so let's use limit one. Now we have the contact to which we need to link case. 
but we cannot link case to this contact here. Therefore, what we will do, we will store account ID and contact in a map. So let's create a map like this. Map ID comma contact. Let's say cone map ID comma contact copy this map name and put account id in key and contact in value of this map like this cone dot account id comma cone now again apply null check on this list i forgot to mention that in this list we will pass trigger dot new from our trigger therefore this list will have the case data which is being inserted so apply a null check on this list if is empty i trade over it source case let's say csrcd now in apex it is a good practice to apply proper null checks to prevent our code from null pointer exceptions also we need to run this trigger only when account is selected but contact is not selected when a user inserting a case so for that we will apply some checks like this if case rcd first to check that if account is selected dot account id not equals to null second if contact is not selected csrcd dot contact id equals to null and third that if case map is not empty which means that there is a primary contact present on selected account con map dot is empty now if this if condition will get true then our first task is to link case to primary contact of account. So let's link it, create an instance of contact record, contact con rcd, con map dot get, csrcd dot account id, and let's link it, contact id, con rcd dot id. So our first task is done. Now let's come to second task which is to create an event on primary contact with same subject as case. Now guys see, we'll be needing start date time and end date time while creating an event. So for that, let's create some variables which will store start date time and end date time. First, let's create a variable to store current date time. Like this, date time, current date time, date time dot now. Now for start date time of event, what we will do, we will add two days in current date time like this. Date time, let's say start date time, copy this variable name, paste it here, dot add days two. Therefore, start date of event will be two days after the creation of case. Similarly, let's create another variable for end date time. and date time and for that we will add two hours in starting date time of event copy this variable name paste it here and hours two. therefore event will end after two hours from starting now let's create an event event ev new event event subject will be same as case subject ev.subject case rcd dot subject uid will be contact id will be con rcd dot id basically uid refers to a person id like contact or lead after that start date time copy this variable name paste it here and date time Copy this variable name and paste it here. And now to bulkify our code, we will not insert event inside for loop. So let's create a list of event. List of event. Event list. New list event. Copy this list name and add events in it. Apply null check on this list. and finally insert it now guys see this part of code will be executed 
when a user selects an account without selecting a contact and that selected account has primary contact on it. But what should happen if there is no primary contact present on selected account? So in that case, we need to show error message that there is no primary contact present on this account. So for that, here apply else if like this, else if and inside this else if add conditions. First, that account is selected. CSRCD dot account ID not equals to null. And second, that there is no primary contact present on that account. Cone map dot is empty. And if this condition will get true, then we need to show error. Dot add error. There is no primary contact present on selected account. Save it and deploy it to org. Okay, it is successfully deployed. So we have our handler class ready. Now let's create a trigger. Let's name it case common trg. A trigger will be on case object with before insert event. Why before insert? Because we need to perform all our actions before the case record gets saved to database. So let's write case here and apply a check like this is before and trigger dot is insert. This is to call our handler class method only on before insert event. Call our handler class method trg handler trg method and pass trigger dot new parameter. Save it and deploy it to work. Okay, it is successfully deployed. So we have our code ready. It's time to test our code. So let's go to work and see it in action. Here in our org, we have two account records. This account has a primary contact on it and this account does not have any primary contact. Now let's create a case. Click on new. Case origin will be email. First select an account which has no primary contact on it. Account with no primary con. Subject will be test. Now if our code is correct, then an error should come. Click on save. See it is showing that there is no primary contact present on selected account, which means our trigger is working fine till here. Now let's select an account which has primary contact on it. Account with primary con. Click on save. So as you can see that this case has been linked to primary contact of this account, which means our code is working fine for first task. Now let's check for second task. Go to contact. See an event also has been created, which means our code is totally correct. So that's it for today guys and I'll be back with more advanced trigger scenarios. Thank you.